All right, this problem says that uh, sodium and chlorine react to form one compound, and in a certain reaction, this many grams of sodium reacts completely with this many grams of chlorine to produce sodium chloride. So how much chlorine would react with this much sodium, and how much sodium would react with this much chlorine? Okay, so <clears throat> the way we're going to solve this is we, we know how much sodium reacts with chlorine and any time you do a reaction it's always going to, going to react in that same uh, proportion okay it's called the law of of constant proportions so um, so whatever proportion this is it'll be the same proportion uh, for here to the sodium this much chlorine to the certain amount of sodium will be that same proportion and we'll use that here as well okay so here is the information that we are given just kind of boiled down on uh, paper here's our initial uh, ratio or proportion okay we know that 2.241 grams of sodium react with 3.454 grams of chlorine okay so um, essentially what we can do you know this is kind of like doing conversions all right um, and then we're going to take sodium and convert that to chlorine if you will all right so um, so let's set this up we have um, we'll start with our 15.44 grams of sodium okay and we have um, uh, how many okay we're first of all this is on the top and so we need grams of sodium on the bottom and then the grams of chlorine on the top okay so we know that 2.241 grams of sodium will react with 3.454 grams of chlorine okay so this is the proportion and this compound and and since sodium and chlorine only form one compound um, this is the proportion of sodium to chlorine that um, is in in the compound regardless of whether we have this much sodium or this much sodium okay so this uh, will cancel my grams of sodium and I will end up with grams of chlorine all right, so when we do this calculation on the calculator, we have 15.44, and we're multiplying that by 3.454. Whoops, um, I uh, there we go, 3.454, and dividing that by 2.241. Okay, so what we end up with is 23. 797 and we can go ahead and round this to four significant figures since all of our numbers are four significant figures and this will be 23.80 okay since uh, since this is greater than 5 this rounds up to 80 right so 23.80 um, is my answer there 23.80 okay that is the mass of chlorine that reacts with the 15.44 grams of, uh, of sodium okay and uh, moving on to the the other part it's asking for the mass of sodium that will react with 0 0.7206 grams of chlorine okay so we're using that same proportion and we'll set it up just the same way 0 0.7206 grams of chlorine this time we need the mass of chlorine on the bottom and the mass of sodium on the top need that chlorine on the bottom so that that will cancel and so this is our ratio okay that's the proportion of sodium to chlorine that reacts in the compound 
and we have 3.454 grams of chlorine that react for uh, react with every 2.241 grams of sodium. Okay, chlorine cancels, and I'll have sodium in the end. And uh, what we get here is um, we put this in the calculator, and we have 0 0.7206 uh, times 2.241 divided by 3.454. And so what we end up with is 0.4675. Again, we can keep four significant figures. So 0.4675 grams. Okay. And that's grams of sodium. Okay. So